come over with you in a new episode from a game called Firewatch. Or so I decided I might as well get it. All right, gonna play a new game, playing it. Colorado, 1975. See you, Julia. <clears throat> oh, okay, okay. So I had to press it. She's about your age. Late 20s, laughing with well... Oh. Laughing with well-dressed professors and grad students from early CU Boulder. You, Henry, are out drinking with your pals. You approach her. Is this like a dating simulator? It's better not be a dating simulator. You're drunk. So, what's your major? You. You're pretty. Let me choose your pretty. You're pretty, she says coolly. You are not. You are future hangover. Oh. <coughs> You're pretty. She says coolly, you are not. <laughs> you are a future hangover. What? <laughs> you replied confused. Someone should buy a, you a cheeseburger, she says. She flags down a waiter and one week later you see Julia's boyfriend. I was drunk. <laughs> I didn't know. Ooh. Someone left their backpack here. I'm taking it. <laughs> Looks like a penis. <laughs> Did it? <laughs> Looks like a penis. Why do we need these? Oh, right. To open the doors and close the doors. Close it. Mm. Okay. So, is this my truck or is this someone else's truck? Okay. I need to learn the. See what I can. Okay, so I can zoom in with L1. Don't know what else I can do. How did I start? Okay, so I can start running, I think. I think I started running. Yeah, I can start running with, uh, with square. That's good. Metal can still start running manually like the way you're doing Black Ops or, you know, any kind of don't Call of Duty game. Okay, so first we stole a backpack, now we're gonna steal a truck. You're date for o you date for over a year. Wait, so then I'm her boyfriend? I thought... I thought I said I meet her boyfriend. So did I meet him in the mirror or did I read that wrong? Okay, so you date for over a year, she drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in, you share an apartment near the school with a view of, of the mountains. You two drink beers out on the deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. Ooh, I like dogs. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. Julia is in love. She wants to bring it with her to class. A gentle-eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could ever happen to Julia while walking this dog. It's badass. I'll get her the beagle. Because she likes the beagle. And I do too. I like the German Shepherd too. And she would be protected more with him. <sighs> but who's to say the beagle can't protect anyone? Don't you put the bites cover? 
Even a chihuahua can fuck you up. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, you've totally forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. You love him too. <clears throat> 1979. You talk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30 p.m. And the heat is... <clears throat> and the heat still radiates off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good at much. I'm saying if you and I have some. A couple of little idiots. I actually do. Would like to have kids one day. But that doesn't mean I want to rush it. But that doesn't mean that... It's a difficult question to answer, so I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go with uh, that. Would be pretty good. In that case, we should probably get married. Yeah, I would like that. You say these kids are going to be screwed up enough. It's probably for the best that their parents are hitched. <laughs> All right. So now I get to walk around a bit more. Hmm. So am I a park ranger or something? Do not forget to check in. You're in their country. Learn to live with bears. Warning. Thoroughfare thorough trail. It is not recommended for inexperienced hikers. And then no fireworks, obviously, because don't, you don't want to be a fucking dick and end up burning this whole place down. Nineteen eighty. It's Thursday night, and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you're gone to bed. She's not, <clears throat> she's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a, f having a fun time. You find when she gets home between the sheets. Obviously, I'd be getting mad. I mean, like I understand that couples need uh, to have fun and everything with their friends or whatnot, but <sighs> I don't know, just coming in late and shit. It just fucking annoyed me like it would annoy anyone else, wouldn't it? You call her an inconsiderable asshole. You said you wouldn't even call her that. She tells you to fuck, to go fuck yourself. And to not be such a baby. You call her selfish. She knows you mean it, but it hurts her feelings. Nineteen eighty-one. Julius still likes to draw. She draws plants from here. <clears throat> she draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. I'll front like, like a Victoria's Secret model. Julia was right. You are very pretty. <laughs> oh. Suddenly turn dark. Okay. Oh, not dark, but you know. Where am I going? Can't see. Okay, so I'm definitely heading west. And over here would be north. So why am I heading west? Whatever. Two forks. Look out, Tara. Eight miles still. Hmm. 1982. At night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. 
Buckets gets kicked. B, B, ba, fuck, dog, Julia. Julia yells. She gets flustered and has trouble speaking while she's in stress. You comfort, you confront the attacker. I'll beat his goddamn face in. Your arms get cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very eh, tough. You cry your eyes out before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from the day for from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. <clears throat> Nineteen eighty-four. Plant staff kids get way late by work. Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is in Connecticut, 2,000 miles away. It's a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. I would not convince her not to take the job. I would most likely just move with her. Why not move with her? I don't want to convince her not to get a job if this is actually my girlfriend in real life and this actually does happen. Uh, why is there no third option? I guess I'll have to agree if she commutes back and forth. You ask her if she'll commute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says that'll be hard. But she'll do it if you won't come. You tell her not to pass it up if that's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder three times each semester. 1985. Julie is sent home from Yale and paid leave after having an episode. She lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important to her research. She didn't remember. She had happily loaned them to him just two days prior. She was found crying in the stairwell. Either I say that we should talk about it, or you can have macaroni and drink wine and try to forget about it. I like both options. Comforting her or talking about it to get rid of the problem that has started. I don't know which one to take. Normally I would comfort her, but that wouldn't really solve the problem. It would just make it go away for a short amount of time. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried that Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Onset dementia. That's fucking horrible. <laughs> so that's how I look like. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice because he gets in less trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason and has to be brought home by the police. She's devastated. 
She is sent home on permanent medical leave. Some days you get... <clears throat> Some days you get the Julia who calls you a dope and your unborn children little idiots. The other days, you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family. They are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their home to, in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. Spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else, somewhere with 24 hour care, a home. It sits with you for a couple of months. You decide to move her into a fully time care facility. You are determined to take care of her by yourself. In this situation, I, I wouldn't really know what to do. I didn't know this was going to be this type of game. I thought I was just going to go out and explore, but I didn't know what kind of game this actually was, and this is actually getting kind of realistic. These answers are hard to choose whenever you just have two. Why can't you have multiple? But I guess it was up to me. I guess I would try to take care of her by myself. Well then. Guess I just keep hitting forward. There's a deer. There's something over there. It's a buck. Oh, technically still a deer. It's impossibly hard. The worst is when you get mad at her. Like when she tries to cook her own food. You can't do anything without her. And she can't do anything without you. When she goes to sleep, you stay up for a few hours. Drinking on the deck. Watching baseball in the summer college basketball in the winter. Drink then, too. You start going out after you put her to bed. The first time you do, you worry about her getting up and walking around while you're gone. same bar at the boring end of Pearl Street. It's nice there. Over time, you tell Shay... How do you say that? Sheila? I say Sheila. Over time, you tell Sheila, the bartender, everything. It's a huge weight off. You're home and in bed by a team of... Well, by 1 a.m. a couple of nights a week. You look forward to those nights. 1989. One night, you were stopped at a DUI checkpoint. You blow a point ten and were taken to jail for the night. You consider trying to hide it, but you tell your sister-in-law, Susan. Julia's parents take the next plane from Australia. They can't believe the state your house is in. 
Then they tell you Julia is coming to live with them. You don't argue. You say you'll visit soon. A few weeks go by. Summer is coming. You see an ad on the paper for a job. You take it. Like is this better for her to go live over there? It's heartbreaking. Whether it be your mom, your sister, your lover, an uncle, one of your family members, someone that you just met, one of your best friends, to have dementia. To have them look at you and not even know who you are. out of here. It's what he had to choose. I think that is where it needs to go. But then what is he doing here? If that's where he needs to go, why is he doing here? Enter the lookout tower. So obviously that's north. We're gonna need to head north. So I'm gonna need to enter into lookout there, but I don't know how. Oh, okay, here we go. Turn on the power. Alright, good. Now at least I have a place to sleep. What the fuck? what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. Look, I just hiked for two days, so I don't really follow whatever it is you're doing right now. You take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine. Then, can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, so I'm gonna choose. Oh shit, I'm running out of time. Uh, this one. Okay, uh, you've killed three husbands. You're a black widow and you're just out here until the heat dies down and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very good. Bravo, Henry. Okay, I sleep now? Not quite. Now you. Okay, good night. Bye. This is how the game starts. It's actually kind of interesting. It's realistic real fast.
fuck. Sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Ooh. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's what, six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it, that hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the middle of your room with a round map on it, do you see it? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check in a little bit, whatever your name is. Alright, I guess I need to drop it. I was trying to drop it back in there. It's the right in the middle of your room. Okay. Okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder, invented in 1914 by W.B. Osborne? You use this to spot, you guessed it, fi- What the fuck? What is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you use this to- Oh, fuck me! Good God, language, lady. Out your west-facing window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Are those fucking fireworks? I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Yeah, I saw something. Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. Is that really my job? Your job is whatever I say it is. The closest ranger is like two days away. Go down there and set him straight. Do you think you can handle that? Like, kick the shit out of him sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is 1234. It's actually that for all of them. Secure. Shut up. <laughs> all right. Sort of pine cone. Okay, so obviously I need something. I know that. I know that's a stove. Shush, I don't know who you are. Mmm. Man, am I thirsty. Seems kind of small. Okay, okay, right, right, right. The fireworks. Alright, uh. Don't I need my backpack? Alright, okay. Alright, so... Water. <sighs> Alright, uh, I need to look at my map. I need to go west. Alright, good. What is this? Right, I need to go west. Right over here. So just keep heading straight. Okay, um... Where was it that I needed to go again? Two forks out and... Supply drop. Okay, uh, I need to look for something. Find rope in the NSF cachet box. The fuck was that? Oh, I just thought I saw something moving. Alright, uh... Catch a box 306. 
So then I need to go over here. I need to get back to camp. Alright, need to come back to camp and then I should be able to go over here. Just following the road and I should be able to get to the box. Uh, why do people gotta be such fucking assholes and idiots? Alright, catch a box. I think I'm heading the right way. Yeah, yeah, heading the right way. Just lower it down. Let's go. Alright, here we go. Here it is. So are there a lot of these out in the woods? Yeah, we got them all over the Shoshone. They saved us a lot of back and forth from the trailhead. Don't take all the good stuff. Yeah, alright. Right now, I do in this one. Oh shit, no! In this one, I think I—I I don't think I need to keep up any kind of eating thing or whatever. But uh, oh, copy information. All right, now we can just close it. Now that where are they again? I can hear them coming from over there. God damn it. I think I hear them. I don't see the fireworks anywhere. see anything. <sighs> I don't see anything. Might just be somewhere over here. There they are. Alright, uh, attach the rope here. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag forever flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? That's uh, actually English for not in my job description. How do you expect me to get down this? Well, did you get that rope? Yeah, I got it. Okay, just lash it to something nearby and take it slow. What the fuck? Okay, that didn't sound right. Hey. What the hell's wrong with you? Uh, Cripple Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. I 
I don't carry them anymore. Oh, I made it down. Pretty sure I saw him come on from over here. Oh, there was a fire right over there. Wow, there's a, a big rock outcropping down here near the lake. It's really something. Yeah, makes for good camping. There used to be a group of guys who would boulder out there a couple times a year. What happened to them? Dunno. Just stopped coming out. empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. The idiots down at the lake? Yeah, them. Just found where they're hanging out. Alright, so I don't know exactly what they are. They still might be near the lake. Oh, hello. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. Some fucking bullshit. They're trying to set this forest on fire. I should at least be able to get the fucking, you know, backpacks. Oh, look, they decided to have a campfire, too. You know, they color-coded the fire danger signs in case people were illiterate. My manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. Oh shit, ferret or Irish. Saving that for later. Alright, I can hear. Out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Uh, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Let me take their fucking clothes so that way I can at least, you know, leave them out here in the nude. That'll fucking teach them. Oh, God. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Some stranger's fucking panties, are you kidding me? Another bra? Another pair of panties. Okay, so I'm guessing they're both women. That must be them. So, 
setting off fireworks out here isn't just stupid, it's illegal. Yeah, so is stealing, asshole. That's so fucking bogus. You're gonna pay for that. Can we just get out of here? You're gross. You're just some sad man out in the woods. It's done. Well, that's ominous. Hopefully there won't be any more trouble. Good. Thanks for going down there. I think I'm heading the wrong way back. Okay. I don't see them anywhere, so I'm guessing they're waiting for me to go. Good. I guess this is a trail? Yep, these are the fucking panties. What? Well, their underwear is still strewn all over down here. Well, it is a particularly warm evening. Let's try blame them. So they just left their stuff down here. Uh, it would be a bad idea for me to toss it all in the lake, right? Yes, I don't think that'd be wise. If you could refrain from criminal destruction of personal property while on this job, that'd be great, okay? Right. Oh, that's kind of late. Oops. Too late for that, but you know. Restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. Just left their shit here. Alright, whatever. that big rock outcropping, but not sure how to get back. I'd head west, back towards the lake, and then turn north towards the canyon. So, I might be able to do it. I'm not too sure. And so she said, head out west, down by the lake, and go to canyon. Okay. This lake does seem like a good spot to swim, even if the last people to do so were assholes. Yeah, right now though, it's all snow melt, so you'll freeze your balls off. But as hot as it's been, maybe that's a fair trade. Starting to feel like it. Any chance of those kids getting a disease in this lake, like diphtheria or consumption or. <laughs> consumption? 
Not if they're not 19th century chimney sweeps, no. You know, whatever. I mean, if they drank a bunch, Giardia, maybe, but probably not this time of year. Hmm. That's too bad. Uh, hey, there's a trail to Two Forks Tower down here near the lake. Yeah, that's your tower. So I should go this way. Well, you're not climbing back up that slide. <laughs> you never know, I just might. Alright, uh, just need to head down over here. Seems kind of creepy. But oh, trail's the trail that'll lead me back to home. Or to safety, technically. I don't like the outdoors. Mostly just, you know, looking at them. Not really spending too much time out there. But, you know, it seems kind of interesting. I might actually like to. One day. Not too sure. Okay. So far, this game actually seems pretty good. I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, look, I was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Alright, so this trail doesn't seem that bad. I need to check my compass. My map. Alright, I'm pretty close to it. someone back in Colorado. She loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Well, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. I'm trying to get back. Uh, I don't know where I'm at. I think I might actually need to go through the cave. Hmm. Don't like that idea. But if I need to do it, I need to do it. Because it looks like there should be a way out through that cave and get back on the road. You know, I'm gonna open this. One. Two. Three. Alright, obviously copy information. Well, a flashlight, I'm obviously gonna need to take that. 
this don't work. Oh, there we go. And, uh, horn. Is that a horn or an antler or whatever? Well, antlers are made of bone, and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. I'll just put it back then. No, whatever. How do I use a flashlight? Okay, that's how you use it. What the hell? This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so... Maybe it's mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your cake kicked. Well, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, sorry, Hank. Hmm. Maybe if I hit it enough times, it'll open. Bastard. Hmm. Oh, I guess I'll be able to find my way back. It's already night. Alright, good. I need to look at the map again. Alright, just head down there and I'll be good. What the hell? There's some guy out here giving me the creeps. The creeps? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. Okay, so it seems like he was just around here. I don't see him anymore. Alright, uh, look at the map. Oh, either way, whichever one I take, it'll take me back. Guess I'll head over here. Oh, the frame rates though. Still a good game, but the frame rates are, you know, kind of dropping every now and then. Alright, as soon as I get back to camp, I'm probably gonna end it there. service. <laughs> Anytime. 
Alright, Jeff. I already know where it is. It's over there. I guess I could see it. But that guy did kind of creep me out. He was just looking at me for no fucking reason. Bear's tooth point and then Thor four. Look at. Alright. Um, so it's uh, just the outhouse then in terms of going to the bathroom? You're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. I'm gonna throw you inside. Get over. No. Get over here. It's kind of messed up how he never really had kids. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna be murdered when I'm in the outhouse. Feeling a little exposed, are we? Hey, no man in the history of the world has felt tough with his pants around his ankles. Well, be strong. You can always call if you're having trouble. Mm, sure, I'll do that. on the ground outside of my tower you right yeah look uh, the wind no how the hell you should get inside fuck me someone broke in they what they just they wrecked the place threw my typewriter out the window motherfucker holy shit um let the Forest Service know what happened. I'm gonna have to fix the window. Tomorrow, Henry, you won't be cold. Okay, I put in a call. That was fast. service weapons cache I'll feel safer than the Pope in his little car. Yeah, uh, someone made the choice years ago that leaving people with infinite amounts of alone time and a gun was kind of a bad idea. What? Grenades? I'll see what I can do. Okay. So someone broke in. I'm guessing it's either the girls but I'm pretty sure they don't even know who, where the fuck to find it. Seeing as how they're fucking morons, or it's the guy that I just fucking saw. Huh. Whatever. It's kind of a shitty move. Sorry, our problem. Uh, that storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut 
fix it? Well, you probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Okay, just leave that there. Okay. Oh, I got some fireworks now. I think that's it. I'm gonna save it right here. I should probably display subtitles too. Huh. Okay. Alright, well I'm gonna save it here. And just stop the video because I kinda wanna... Subscribe if you actually liked it. You know, share with your friends or whatever. Leave a like. And, yeah. See you guys next time.